As she faces federal charges, Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby says she did nothing wrong and is not going to go away without a fight. You heard her claim this afternoon at a press conference that she is going to go home victorious. WMAR 2 News, Kendall Green is on the story here tonight. Uh, Kendall, why does Mosby believe that she is now facing these charges? Jamie, while she didn't go into detail about the charges in that indictment, she says she believes that this is a part of a political ploy just ahead of her five months uh, run for re-election. I'm so disappointed, but unfortunately not shocked. Baltimore's top prosecutor now prepping for her own defense in the U.S. District Court. A federal indictment accuses state attorney Marilyn Mosby of two counts of perjury in an effort to retain a total of $90,000 from her retirement account. $40,000 on one occasion, $50K on the other. The pair of charges accuse Mosby of knowingly checking a box that suggests she suffered financially as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. But records suggest she never suffered from a loss of pay. Her attorney says she was advised that she could take the money in connection with her other businesses. But we're going to vigorously defend her. Uh, we've got our own witnesses. We've got our own documentary evidence that will prove that this certainly didn't occur. And she certainly didn't have the intent uh, to perjure herself, let alone uh, provide a false statement. The two other counts allege false statements made by Mosby on two loan applications while buying a pair of vacation homes in Florida withholding information regarding thousands in tax debt. In her defense in the court of public opinion, Mosby says this is less about a crime she committed and more about crimes she wouldn't tolerate as a prosecutor since taking office in 2014. You see, ever since I walked down the steps of the war memorial on May 1st, 2015, announced charges against six police officers in the killing of Freddie Gray, I have had a target on my back and I get it. Mosby calling the indictment a result of bad blood and an attempt by political foes to attack her progressive policies. But our differences in policies and governing should not make any of us subject to unreasonable and unyielding, abusive attacks, investigation, and prosecution. I'm here before you today to state unequivocally that I am innocent. Now, while she presumes her innocence, if charged of all four counts, she could face up to 70 years in prison. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMER 2 News. All right, Kendall, thank you. Marilyn Mosby was elected as the city's top prosecutor back in 2014, and she gained national attention when she charged six Baltimore City police officers involved in the arrest and eventual death of Freddie Gray one year later. All six officers pleaded not guilty. In the end, all charges against them were dropped. Mosby was reelected in 2018. In March of last year, a criminal investigation was opened on Marilyn Mosby and her husband, Baltimore City Council President Nick Mosby. Investigators subpoenaed her campaign and the couple's business, requesting financial records dating back to 2014 related to businesses and campaigns from the Mosbys. Well, tax returns, loan documents, bank statements, they were all specifically requested. In October of 2020, the IRS placed a $45,000 tax lien against the couple saying they failed to pay federal taxes from 2014 through 2016. That lien was paid off last summer. Marilyn Mosby is up for re-election to a third term coming up this year. And this is the second federal indictment of a major elected leader here in Baltimore in less than three years. Back in April of 2019, the FBI and the IRS raided the home and office of then Mayor Catherine Pugh. One week later, Catherine Pugh resigned. This was all related to the so-called Healthy Holly scandal Pugh and a co-conspirator, Gary Brown, entered into deals with several groups, including the University of Maryland Medical System and the Maryland Insurance Fund, selling them Healthy Holly children's books and then never delivering them. Pugh and Brown used the money to help finance Pugh's mayoral election campaign. In November of 2019, Catherine Pugh was federally indicted on wire fraud and tax evasion charges and agreed to plead guilty to those charges. She was sentenced to three years in prison and began serving that sentence in June of 2020. And then you go back to 2008 and 2009, the home of Sheila Dixon, raided just months after she started as city's 48th mayor. Uh, that was a state case, and prosecutors indicted her in 2009, claiming that she took gift cards that were meant for families in need. And as part of the plea deal, she resigned, got probation, and then in 2015, Sheila Dixon ran for mayor again, but she lost in the Democratic primary to the eventual winner of that race, Catherine Pugh.